All right, so I heard a rumor while I was away, and the rumor says that if you go up to Emerson's car, take the key, hopefully this is the right key, and I think all you gotta do is just, maybe you gotta flip one of these. Emerson, what have you done? What have you done? Emerson, what are you doing? You don't need to do this, bro. What I was saying was if you take the key and you put it in here, I heard all you have to do is just go, <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! Woo! She lives, baby! She lives! My car starts too, I just really don't want to listen to it yet. The girls are back together. You guys have no idea how good it feels to have the 240 running again. I felt super bad when we did it for Emerson and we actually didn't have it running when he came to pick it up. The whole week I was away, he was here, like he said he was sleeping like four or five hours a night because he didn't want me to come home and have to deal with the fact that it was dead, which is like very kind of him. So he was slaving away. This thing is ready. The headers look extremely blue. It's kind of cool looking actually. They look super burnt. Anyways, that makes me feel very good. And like I was just saying, I don't like the way this thing sounds right now, but we do have an exhaust that's ready for it. And now that I'm home, I have a couple goals and I'm gonna try and accomplish them. Like obviously, I can't get them all done right away, but month or so, I guess, plan is one, get the BRZ back to be my daily. You guys know it's my favorite car. I absolutely love the BRZ. I, I want to daily it again, so that entails a couple things. We gotta do bags, we gotta do exhaust. Uh, we gotta get an alignment and we just gotta do like tiny little things and then we can continue to mod it. I just need it to the point where I can drive it and that's all I want. And then once that is done, we have to finish up a bunch of stuff on the Genesis and I'm starting the S10. I actually have the final piece, the thing we have been waiting for for the longest time. I'm picking up, I was gonna pick it up tonight but I'm probably gonna just get carried away doing this. It's ready, it's ready to be picked up. And once I go get it, we're good to start on the S10 so that is something else that I'm really excited about because it just kind of looks terrible here. Anyways, today I'm super uh, nervous. I think I'm just really excited and probably some of it has to do with the fact that today we're doing something that I've never done before and I'm just a little bit nervous to get going with it. It has been long enough. You guys know I got this stuff in the summertime and I have just been waiting for the right time. Today's the right time, baby. We got the Airlift Performance Kit. We're gonna slap this thing on the BRZ. This is nuts. This is like, like as a car enthusiast, you see, I've seen airlift like a hundred, hundred million times on cars and photos, but I never thought I would actually like be holding it. Anyways, this is cool. I didn't really realize how much adjustment airlift came with. I was always under the belief that it didn't come with a whole lot. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to read these manuals. Like, I don't know 100% what's going on, but you can adjust like the height of this as if it's like a coilover strut, right? So you adjust the height of this, and then you get your air up, air down movement on the height you set. You also have this pillow ball. I, I was watching a video, I don't know whose, but I was watching a video not too long ago, and they didn't have like this camber adjustment in the front, which was very weird, and I was super worried I wasn't gonna have it, and I was like thinking of how I was gonna make it work. Um, but it has it, it comes with it, and it also comes with like a dampening adjustment too, which is sweet. So you, it's got all the flexibility of like a coilover, but you can air it up and down. It's just the dream, really. And with what I believe is leader lines, which is dope, I'll explain that later. So we got this tank, this tank has seven ports. I literally just got the one with the maximum amount of ports, that way we can do maybe more things with it, maybe just what it's meant to do, I don't really know, but I feel like you can never really have too many ports. We got a compressor, we got the system I got is the three, I think it's called 3P plus H, but here it just says 3H, which means you have the height sensors. So this one doesn't just run on the bag pressure, it also has like a, a height sensor for how high you are. Um, and that contributes to a million other things that this system can do because of those systems, because of that height sensor. I feel like it's not as complicated as you would think it is. When you look at it, it's a lot of parts, but I think it's actually all pretty straightforward. You just kind of got to lay it all out. Something I'm also excited to do is like the tank and all this kind of stuff in the trunk. We used to have, oh, I don't think I have my keys. We used to have the hardwood trunk 
in the BRZ. Now the back is still ripped apart because you have to take off the panels and stuff to get to the, uh, the Karma fenders. So I used to have this hardwood and then I had like my huge sub box. Well, it's not huge, but for a BRZ, it took up basically the whole trunk. I think I don't want this anymore. I think the hardwood's really cool. I've made like two, three videos on it. I really like the look, but I think when it comes to having like an airlift system, wood is just a little bit overdone. And not only that, but there's some other really cool options that I've never dabbled with. And you guys know that I really like to try out new things and stuff. So I think all that's gonna be different. So I'm still super nervous talking to you guys, just isn't cutting it. I think we just need to get going. Coilovers are out. Dude, these things have been in my car for probably three or almost four years. And they've seen some Ontario winters. So like they're a little bit dirty. They're a little bit dirtier than probably most people that you would watch on YouTube. I figured I would start with the front because the front is just like a little bit more complicated. Like there's just more to it. The rear is just literally right there, you're done. I was just reading this and I was right. Like these are leader hoses. So essentially what that means is like these are plastic lines or rubber lines or whatever these are actually made of. These have like a quick, quick disconnect. So you'll see right here, they're the ones where you just like push it in and it just locks itself. And then if you pinch it, it'll come back out. And a problem that happens a lot is people will put this in and like if they drive for a long time or they hit, that's like a random bump or something, sometimes it'll come out. And then the whole bag just deflates because there's nothing holding pressure anymore. Um, so what this is, is this will kind of thread into somewhere on the bottom of this right there. And thread this guy into here. It's like a nice braided line that can take all like the up and downs and turns and abuse that will give it. And then this will feed into that line, if that makes any sense. I don't know much about doing this. All I know is I was told to make sure <laughs> you install this first because once the bag is on, it's like impossible to get behind it. Imagine trying to do this up in the car. You have no way. I don't know what to do with this line though. Um, I think I'm running mine under the car. A lot of people run theirs in through the car, but I was doing some looking and this plate, or maybe it's this plate, this plate, hopefully you guys can see under here, has like all your brake lines and all that kind of stuff up in there. So I'm thinking we'll just run the, like the extension of this, like the, the plastic one or whatever. Um, we'll run it with all the brake lines to the back because they're already in a safe protected like underneath the tray kind of space Versus running them inside the car. I know people say like inside the car It doesn't get whatever as cold or whatever your argument is doesn't really matter I live somewhere where like it doesn't really matter where you put them and even if it does I think I'm gonna run mine outside the car like they'll be tucked up in a way You won't even know they're there But they will be outside instead of going through because I just I've seen it done and it seems kind of like a mess There's like a lot of like drilling little holes and I don't for, I just don't know. I don't know for me I don't want to do that. I'm also excited because now I can put this plate back. You guys know that I took the, when I cut this plate out, I, well, I'm not gonna put it back today. What I want to do is get everything like aired out or whatever, find our, our new ride height, find all that stuff and make sure that like when I turn the wheels, nothing rubs. And as long as nothing rubs, I can weld this plate back in and then kind of paint all this stuff black so you don't ever notice it or see it. I won't drive it for too long, if at all, um, with this like this. I'm gonna try and do this like ASAP. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, up until now, this could have been like coilovers. So now we're getting into what like the heart of the actual airlift system. So in here we have 
Oh, yo, that's small. The little airlift controller. I've honestly, to tell you guys the truth, I've literally never held one of these in my life. Also, this one connects to your phone, which is super dope. Guys, zip ties are an official installation tool. So this guy is the whole brain, I guess. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Something I realized is that this has two fittings, or four fittings, I guess. Two of them are the size of this air hose, and two of them are different sizes. And then the ones that came with the rear bags, both of them are the small size, which I'm kind of confused about. I was hoping this would explain to me because I only got one size of hose. I only got like this thick ass hose. I got a little bit of this little one, but it says it's for the water trap drain hose. I just tore through everything, tore through all my garbage, and I, I, don't, I don't know. These are all the same size fitting as the big ones, but I only have two of the big ones, and I have another two of the smaller ones and then another two of the smaller ones. So hopefully I'll be able to just go buy this at like a hardware store or something. It's probably gonna be expensive, but hopefully I can buy these guys. This thing's also showing that we only actually need three ports. It says one goes to the management, one is going from the compressor, and then the other one is just the drain. So literally all four of these <laughs> ports are just extra. All these boys that we're not gonna use, I am just going to add a couple blanks in there for now. I have them if I wanna use them. Half an hour I laid under here and I fished, come on focus, I fished a bolt up in through this hole and across and then down into here, like it's just like chilling in there. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it because it's like, I don't know how to access it to keep it still. But I did that on both sides. It was not fun. Now I'm gonna find out if it was even worth it. So if that one, pull it over. And oh my god, the chances of that actually, oh, we almost lost it. Look at this, look. <laughs> I got a, a stubby 14 into this frame rail and somehow locked it on top of that nut. things are wired up and ready to go as soon as I'm like finished doing everything else I can plug this thing in and this is just like a little um, ignition fuse but it's all ready to go I'm just gonna leave it here until the time comes somehow with me filming which does add a lot of time I've been doing this for like eight hours already and I have no idea how this just whatever I've done today has taken me eight hours I think mainly I've been taking my time and I've just been like trying to learn the process of it because I know for a fact we're gonna bag more cars in the future. Yo, this looks dope. Ooh, look at that, baby! All the struts are in, the tank is mounted, the compressor is hooked up to here and here, and then I have the wiring not tucked yet, just ran. You guys can see it, it's just kinda like chilling outside here because I wanna get everything like in its exact home finalized before I tuck it in all the cracks, because if it doesn't fit, then I gotta untuck it and move it all around. I don't know, maybe I'm just like in my head, because normally I can do things faster than this, and I just think this is taking me a long time, but I started doing, I started going to the gym, actually, um, probably about a month ago. It's something that I used to do a lot. I haven't been in like years, probably like four years, maybe five years, um, since I've been to the gym last, and I started going like three weeks ago, and something that has happened that I remember happening very well is I am always hungry like I'm hungry as hell 
all the time. I could just eat, like I can just eat nonstop. And if you guys that have ever met me know that I'm like a pretty skinny dude, and I already eat like four meals a day. Like I'm just a lucky guy, and I get to eat a lot, and like I don't gain any weight from it, and like I seriously eat like four meals a day. Um, so now going to the gym, it just adds like the need to eat even more, and it's absurd and expensive. But I just gotta do it. I just gotta. I just gotta eat. And something that I did today was I went out this morning, I bought file folders, I packed this backpack full of camera equipment for the shop, packed my other backpack full of camera equipment for the shop, just spend the next couple weeks like making this more of a workable space than it is right now. And in remembering all those things, I forgot food. I had Mr. Noodles for dinner, which was disgusting and sad. So unfortunately, I'm gonna stop here for today. We'll come back here tomorrow, and I gotta go pick up those fittings anyways, nowhere is open right now, so we'll come back here tomorrow, and we'll just finish all this stuff up. But before I let you guys go, I wanna show you something. Dude, what is this? This is a hive, it's not even a pimple. This thing's gonna go away in like five minutes, I hate that. You guys get hives? I get like allergy hives. Like I, my face was just really greasy underneath my, when I had my head underneath the steering wheel. Guarantee you that's where that's from. Is there food for me? Oh my god, this is the best day ever! Alright, while well, that heats up, check it out. We got a new plate. Literally finished off like the one odd missing spot that I had in my little plate collection. And we've got this space a little bit more dialed in. Like, I think when we showed you it the first time, we had literally like just moved in here and we didn't really have anything going on. And since I haven't been like filming from home, I literally never film home anymore. So I just wanted to give you guys like a little update. Nothing crazy news happened around the house, but like the office is more office -y. Brad's got his side set up, I got my side set up. We got all the cars laying out here plates and stuff. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I don't know why I felt like it was more exciting when I was saying it at the shop, but I also just wanted to ask you like, what you guys thought of us actually doing the podcast down here. Because I've told you guys that like this room is literally pointless and we haven't done anything yet and we haven't started a podcast yet and I don't know if it's something, it's something that I want to do and Brad wants to do, but it's just something that like I don't want to start and then kind of not have any following, not any interest. I think that's where we're stuck, is I'm scared we're gonna start it and nothing's gonna happen. And like, it's really weird. Like I said we we're gonna do a podcast and then within like a month, so many people started podcasts or said they were gonna start podcasts. I don't know how many people actually did it, but we'll actually do it if we do start it. Like we'll make sure we do like a weekly upload or whatever the case is. But um, I just wanna make sure that there's like a following for it because it's exciting and it will be fun and it will be like completely irrelevant from cars and stuff. I just don't want to start it for no reason. That's it. That's all I'm going to have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys are excited for us to come back and finish dialing in the bags. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and stay committed.